Hey guys, my name's Ayam and welcome to 2064 Read Only Memories. I actually wanted to do a gaming series called Gaming A to Z, and it would consist of games that are lesser known but might actually be really good. Um, these are gonna, I'm gonna start off with games that are my Steam, and I'll see what else people want me to play, because some games really aren't appreciated as much as others. So we're starting with this one, um, because it has numbers, and numbers are at the top of the Steam list, so let's go. Seems like a point-and-click sort of game. No. Let's get it in it. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world thrives on our constant flow of groundbreaking technology. It's very meta. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. <gasps> you can have cat ears. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play. And connect with one another with advanced brain to machine technology. Isn't that what Ready Player One is? Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets looking less human every day. Mm. However, Oof, some can't keep up with the fast paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core... Ooh, so this is like an Android sort of game. Interesting. Organizations like the Human Revolution seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. Is that good? And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, so this has a kind of Detroit Become Human vibe to it. Ooh. Cool. A new cyberpunk adventure. This is real cool. Do I click? Ah, press button twice to skip. Wait, I don't know if I should just skip that. <laughs> oh well. I think that was enough of an intro. Prologue. I do also like the pixel art style. It's pretty nice. Outer, outer sunset. <laughs> home sweet home. All oh, right, is this my place? Okay, maybe not so sweet. Musty might be a better descriptor. Yeah, it's pretty small. All right, oh, okay, bed. Yes. Lappy. <laughs> Lappy the laptop. Yeah. Book. Window. Door. Good. Sheet of paper. Oh, okay. Look at sink. Turn on sink. Talk to sink. <laughs> Talk to sink. You ask the blob of the sink not to loiter, but it bubbles up at you. <laughs> Listen here, Blobby. Did it just try to talk back? Look at the paper. For my unpublished novel. Ooh. Alright. Uh, plant? Talk to plant. <laughs> they say plants react positively to conversation, but this poor thing might be too far gone already. Oh no. <laughs> book. Talk to book. <laughs> you give the book a pep talk. Keep that window open. Hold your position. Don't lose focus. <laughs> it's not even doing reps. Out of all the books on the shelf, you pick this slacker? Oh, uh, what else? Ooh, headphones. Gimme. Yay, okay, cool. Who needs AirPods? These are the GX Ultra Beats you have to do a product review on. So what's my job then? They're smart headphones. Smart. <laughs> so you should be able to use them with some things lying around your apartment. Alright, cool. Uh. 
Copy. Take. Those damn headphones. Use a review copy. GX probably wouldn't appreciate them coming back covered in copy. <laughs> okay, Lappy. Let's see. Boot up Lappy. Lappy the laptop. Lappy is a bit of a relic. Oh, that's fine. Ah! YouTube. We have an article due tonight. Better finish it before bed. Okay. <laughs> okay! Uh, Journal Logic. Lips Live. Let's look at Lips Live. Oh. Uh. Okay. Your best options are usually limited to video game streams, old concert recordings, and live cams of baby animals. Your choice is clear. Baby animals. Lappy speakers feel neglected, but now you have the first-hand experience needed to start actually writing the review. Alright, cool. First part of the work is done. You're so accomplished. Yes, I am. So we gotta do a righty-right. Compose using journal logic. Alright, time to get work out of the way. Let's do this. Hell yeah. Selling your soul, bit by bit, character by character. Ah, yes, writing, finished. That was fast. Now to send it off to the editor. Right, oh, your big break. Surely your glowing review of GX, GX Ultra Beats is your ticket out of poverty and into a book deal. Surely, <laughs> yes, totally. Work's finally out of the way, time for bed. Oh, this sounds about right, or you can read some okay today and catch up with some news before you sleep. Ooh. A coupon for five credits back on a Hassie Infinity. <laughs> oh, the sound design. Hassie Infinity has all of your daily calories with another nu nutritional value, like the opposite of a diet version. Mmm, yes. Digital McDonald's. Alright, let's read some stuff. What the? Sports? Yeah, who's this? Who this? Hey, it's Charlie Nova, <laughs> host of Star in the Stratosphere, and tonight in the stars, join Ryan D. Jossio and the Hassy Boys for our 10th annual TMI New Year's Eve special, where I'll interview some of the hottest celebrities and find out what their plans are for 2065. Tune in or join us live at Union Square for the big show, starting at 10 p.m. The, the Hassy Boys. Alright, I'm just- I'm probably actually gonna log out. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so we'll sleep. Go to sleep. It is dark. Oh no! Oh. What- what this? Uh... Is it stealing my files? What's going on? Oh no! Ah, good! You're finally awake! <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Hi! What? I'm honestly not sure why most humans don't have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. I agree, though. Can't they- Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? No, I guess. What? <laughs> How'd you get- What the hecky? How'd you get in my apartment? I came in through the door, of course. Uh, okay. The cryptographic algorithms it uses are actually quite atrocious. <laughs> It only took me 17 trillion clock cycles to break your entry code. Okay. It looks rather imposing, but it's actually a knockoff of the Seki Gate M stroke 14723 stroke B. Frankly, I felt a little silly that I took the time to do all that once I noticed that the lock on your window is broken. Oh, I might have left that open too. And that you left Yeah, <laughs> I might have left it open. Uh my windows lock's broken? Yes, I attempted to repair it, but it uses a proprietary bulkhead I am not equipped to remove. Oh. Oh well. I took the liberty of filing a maintenance request with your building. What? This is the Detroit Become Human. What? They can do maintenance. Considering the speed at which he has historically worked, I estimate it will take him 16 working days to complete the repair. Alright. That's... that'll be a while. Not quite to my standards. Yeah, same. What are you doing in my apartment? <laughs> oh, 
I hope you don't mind. Well, While why? While we were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using Bisac. Uh. Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. Okay. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've, uh, run into a bit of a snag. Oh. A snag. Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have had a critical failure while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. Oh. Then just leave the malware there, it's fine. <laughs> it won't do anything bad. Several other components as well. Oh. Great, you broke my computer. Thanks, man. It no great loss, though. But I have, like, no money. Using that dinosaur to begin with. I have no money. Uh. Don't fret. Why? I did manage to back up your data drive's contents on my storage before the crash. Okay. Additionally, but I need another computer. I am willing to serve as your personal computer until oh. you can procure what? a replacement or provide the I'm gonna type articles on you. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you're really cute though. That's nice, but you still haven't told me why you're here. It's uh, a good question. Oh, don't. It's fine. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. Okay. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Hayden. You know Hayden Weber? What? Is that a friend? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. Okay. I haven't seen Hayden in over a year. Where is he? Oh I no. I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Oh. Oh. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but you're <laughs> certainly the most statistically supported. You're my only hope. No, wait, you're you're not. But just um, just start from the beginning. Yeah. What's just let me know what happened. The beginning. Okay. Yes, I can do that. It sounds like the voice actor for Clementine, actually. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. Oh. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. Oh. I suspect it has to do with me. Maybe. Who are you anyway? What do you have to do with it? Ah, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. Aww. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. <laughs> I am Turing. Oh, alright. I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. That's alright. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Nice. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. That's really cool, actually. Learning code. But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Aww. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How would you know? You. Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. Alright. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? Alright, this is getting too philosophical. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're getting a little too philosophical here. Yeah, it's it's next. Alright, let's continue. Apologize for the tangent. You're right. Yeah. The numbers don't lie about your investigative skills, but I will admit your total lack of recent success is <laughs> worrisome. Hey, don't knock it until you try it. Hmm, we'll see about that. Don't worry. If Hayden trusted you, I trust you. Aww. You're strong-willed and capable. I just want to squish you. You're so cute. If anything, it's worth trying for Hayden. Yeah. Well then, I guess we should get started. Except my computer's broke. I 
I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from the here to Hayden's apartment oh. to your personal finance account. And the car has just arrived. Cool. Uh. Okay, Bobblehead, I'll help. But there better be a story here. Um, when I go to the police, I can totally afford that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Alright. We're on the way to the apartment, and this is probably not gonna look good if he's been chased down. Hayden's apartment. Oh, yeah. Was it... Okay. Hmm, that's strange. What was that? Hmm? Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. Oh? Are they trying to cover up what they did? Certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Right. Uh, perhaps the maintenance robot took care of it. It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. Yeah, if it's automated, then it would already, you know. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. All right. Oh, a lucky break. What? It seems my access code still works. Nice. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. Yeah, I'd figure. Um, just be careful. Will do. All right. So we're in the apartment. Yeah. Um. Doesn't look like there was much of a struggle. Maybe I'm something. I'm not surprised. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. Yeah, he probably just gave up immediately. I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. Yeah. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. He told you to run. You did what he said. Aren't you programmed against harming humans? <laughs> of course not. How silly. <laughs> To make a machine intelligence truly self determined then you can't really stop it. it must be able to self modify Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start searching for clues. Alright, okay, so we got, yeah, broken tech, uh, a ROM component, and Hayden's headset. He must have been in the middle of working on something. Okay. Let me pick it up. Use? Busted. Must have dropped it in the skirmish. Alright. Memory card? Looks like an old high density memory card. Something in the room might be able to read it. Uh, can we. Okay, pick it up. And probably could use it on the computer, right? And memory card. Doesn't fit. Hmm. That's Hayden's computer. I figured. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their hand mom, screen. But desktop rigs like this are what? still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Okay. You know how to get in? There might be clues. Unfortunately, no, I don't. No. This window here is where I escaped from. Okay, cool. <laughs> it is a considerable distance to the ground below. Awesome. Um, how'd you get down? I took the fire escape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so proud. Books. Oh, I think I see something under those reference books. Okay. Oh, tablet. Ah. Ah, that device. The memory card slot is empty. It seems to be a match for the memory card you discovered. I figured. Okay, we'll stick this bad boy in. Oh, put the thing in the doohickey. It's a good achievement. Hayden right. must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Hmm. If only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such rude measures. <laughs> Tablet's calendar says he was supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Ring any di digital bells? Can't tank can't not talk. Really. All right. I guess we'll have to go ask. Okay. Um, ask who? Says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. Okay. I'll mark it on your city map. Cool. Okay. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. Perhaps. My city map? <laughs> oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. Oh. We shouldn't put that off any longer. Alright. Uh, bring it on. 
Oh, okay. Welcome to the first game show time. For your new relationship and organizational manager, running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence system. I love this music. System. Okay. I'll need to ask you a few questions, and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. Right. <laughs> your mouth is. You why are you so small? Feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide. I don't or... care. First, could you tell me your preferred name yeah. for use in account creation, online communications, and enter name. Uh, no caps. I am done. Do you wish to keep this name? Yes. Thank you. I have input your name. Okay, they don't say my name. I thought that would have been really cool. Oh no. Oh dear. Uh, what is halal? I should know this, I think, but. God damn it, Turing. Diet set as. <laughs> Are you sure? No, 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 it's fine. That's, that's wrong. Uh, I am an omnivore. Diet set as omnivorous. Nom, 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 nom. Are you sure? Yes, that's right. Thank you for confirming. Uh,. All right, is that it? I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Sweet. That was exciting. You your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. This is fine. In review. Does that sound right? Mhm. Mm Correct. Thank you. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Thank you. Yet. See, that was relatively painless. Yes. You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. Cool. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Okay. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. Hmm. I think that's probably all we can do here, so yeah. I'm sure we can find some common ground while getting to know one now another. Now I'm dating better. a robot. Oh yeah.